happy Hunter Green Day, my friend. The flamethrower is back. Yeah, it's really nice to see Hunter Green back. Listen, before he left us, he was pitching very, very well, exceptionally well. Everyone knows what you're going to see. You're going to see this fastball, but his ability to land that breaking ball will allow him to dominate with that fastball. Hopefully he gets off to a good start early. Let's see what he can do today. It's also the first start in the show for Noel V. Marte. He gets the nod at third base. So Green ready to go to work. Whit Merrifield stands in for the Blue Jays. Bounce to third. Ball will find you. Welcome to the big league infield, Noel V. Marte. It's always a good thing to get that first one out of the way. Merrifield's retired. Here's Bo Bichette. It's a slider here, and he sends it to center. Friedel back, jumps, and he can't make the catch. And it bounces back in towards the infield. Bichette is on his way to third. Boy, what a great sign it is for Bo to be back. He had a hit in an RBI in the game last night, his first game in August, and he starts his Sunday afternoon off with an extra base hit. Friedel jumps and looked like he just whiffed on it. The runner to third, one out, and Brandon Belt at the plate. And that's going to get by the second baseman McLean into the outfield and Bichette can jog home with the first run of the ball game. Well what happened there was belt got jammed the ball wasn't hit as hard as McLean expected it to be hit and he reached before it got to him and Bo Bichette comes in with the first run of the ball game. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Junior and he swings and sends one the other way to right field. This is well hit going back on it. The right fielder Fairchild makes the catch before banging into the wall with his back to the pads and a fine play there by Fairchild for the second out here in the first. So two down, here comes George Springer. And a ground ball down to third. Marte throws it into right. Belt will come around to third. Springer's at first, and the inning continues. And it has been a messy one defensively for the Reds. Just pulled it to the left. Little jitters out there on the infield. It has not been a very good start defensively for them. Let's see if Dalton Varsho can keep it going. Swing and miss. Now Green gets his first strikeout on the way back. Blue Jays get the game's first run. Young Jen Ryu gets the ball for the Blue Jays. Ryu has pitched a lot against Cincinnati. This will be his ninth career start. He has made four previous starts here at Great American Ballpark. Two quick outs for the Blue Jays left hander. Ellie De La Cruz coming to the plate. That's a fair ball, and that's a really good play made by Matt Chapman with the speed that Dela Cruz has. He doesn't take any time. He can't afford to take any time, and he throws a strike across the diamond. Nice play by Chapman. Now Kevin Kiermeyer's the batter with a runner at second base and one out. And a high fly ball well hit to right field. Fairchild is at the wall, running out of room, and it is gone. Kevin Kiermeyer launches his sixth home run of the season, and the Blue Jays now lead three to nothing. Who needs the fastball? He jumped on a slider that was left over the plate and sent a towering fly ball out of the ballpark. And back to the top of the order, here's with Merrifield. And now Merrifield hits a ball well to deep left center, and that's going to get down. And he is on his way to second and in there with a double. It's a third successive extra base hit for the Blue Jays with the Whit Merrifield double. Two down and here's Brandon Belt. And now Belt drives one. This one is well hit and it is gone as well. The first base umpire Shane Livensparger is signaling it's a home run for Brandon Belt by the slimmest of margins it appears and it is five to nothing. And this is a fastball that Belt gets to. It's about Belt high, and he's able to get to it and hits it off the top of the fence in right. Hunter Green just coming off the I.L., and the Blue Jays have hit two home runs off him here in the second inning. Couple of men aboard, one out. The first plate appearance for Noel V. Martin. <laughs> Lifted to left. Marshall makes the play, throw in, cut, take off from first, throw to second, gets by, and Carnacion Strand in, steer home, he scores, and Carnacion Strand around third, and got by Kiermaier. Reds played a pair on a gift from the Blue Jays, it's 5-2. The Reds just created a little chaos there. Steer bluffing from third, drew the throw home, the throw home was cut off, and quickly 
thrown to second base and right by Whit Merrifield, the second baseman, and on into right center field. Bichette tripled and scored in the first inning, struck out his last time up. Bichette barrels up a ball to right field. Hopkins on the track. See you later. Third home run for the Blue Jays today, and first one back for Bo Bichette, his team leading 18th of the year. It's 6 to 2. Well, it didn't take him long to get his stroke going again. I mean, actually, he never lost it. He had it down to AAA Buffalo, just a matter of getting his knee healthy. He was red hot when he got hurt, and he has picked it up right where he left off. And now Belt hits one well to the opposite field, and that is gone. His second of the ball game, and the Blue Jays go back to back off Hunter Green here in the fourth. It's seven to two, and it's a derby day in Cincinnati for Toronto. I don't think this is exactly what the Reds were expecting with the return of Hunter Green. But now Guerrero is on with the walk. Here's George Springer. George Springer to deep left, and that ball is gone. And the beat goes on here for the Blue Jays. Their third home run of the inning and their fifth of the game already. And it is now 9-2. to two. The slider, even from the first inning, it's just not really been there. If he loses Varsho, I would assume he's done. Borderline walk. Here comes David Bell. Green's day will come to a close here in the fourth inning with one on, nobody out. Four runs home for the Blue Jays in the fourth, nine overall. So two down, and here's Ellie De La Cruz. And a curveball and a beauty. How about that? 67 miles an hour for strike three call. And seven strikeouts through five very sharp innings for Hyunjin Ryu today. So indeed, Tyler Stevenson will hit in Luke Maley's spot. Stevenson off the bench. A loud shot to deep left center. Into the seats for Tyler Stevenson. First pitch, and he unloads one out into left center field. And it's a 9-3 ball game. Run of a third, one out. And now a potential RBI opportunity for Danny Jensen. And that'll be a base hit. Pass to diving De La Cruz into left, an RBI single for Jansen. To make it 10 to 3. Now his 50th RBI of the season. Brings up Noel V. Marte. He's looking for his first big league hit. He's 0 for 3. Merrifield can't get there. Marte turns. He digs for two. Springer throw. Head first slide. Marte in safely. Noel V. Marte with his first base hit in the big leagues. A hustle double. Nice job, Noel V. Marte. He gets around first base. He reads this ball in the gap. Right center field and not much hesitation at all, but that's just another young player is going to come up here and just be aggressive, adding to this plethora of young players that are impact players here in Cincinnati. 0 oh, 2 now on Tyler Stevenson. And there it is. So they come to Cincinnati, they lose the opener in tough fashion, but they come back and squeak out a win yesterday and win convincingly, Buck, here this afternoon. Yeah, they sure do. And how about the hitters? Boy, they came out smoking here.